Nikki, Royal Mail is going to be privatised. There has not been a big privatisation in the UK for ages, so this is kind of a revival of what things used to be like. Uh, what do we know at the moment about this privatisation? Well, we know that first of all today that it's definitely going to happen, and it's going to happen within weeks. Um, so I think we can take it this year. Mm. Um, we now have a little more information about um, very recent trading, first quarter trading mm. in the 2013-14 year. We have some idea as to the dividend policy, which looks to be pretty generous. And we have some quite interesting footnotes in the various documents out today, which suggests that the management is prepared to play quite tough with the unions mm. um, and uh, who, who are opposed to privatisation yeah. or at least want some very considerable concessions before before it they, they yeah, it's, give it's any kind of uh, sort of acceptance to it. Yeah. Um, so we know that. I mean, it, it is tr it's true that this is this sort of um, revives privatisation, I suppose, in the UK. Mm. But uh, don't forget the things that privatisations have been going ahead even in this sector yes. um, in Europe. And BPost floated earlier this year. Yeah. The Belgian Post. So is there a big substantial business in Royal Mail at the moment? Oh yes, it's very large. Mm. I mean, it's still um, a big carrier of letter. Um, traffic, which where volumes are on a structural decline, at mm. a sort of rate of um, quite high mm. single digit rate. Um, it also is a, a big parcel business, and that's the part that management would like to focus on, yeah. and uh, where um, first quarter volumes don't look that good, and first half volumes that suggested will be flat, but revenue is going up still mm. quite nicely, so that's quite a good growth business. Right. Now, we don't know anything about price, or even, I think, uh, just how much of the company will be sold, but from what we know today, is there a case for investors to, to, to buy into this company? I think so. Well, I think they will certainly be very interested in looking at it. Um, it's, it's obviously not a huge growth story, mm. but the, the way management will present it is that they have this good growing uh, parcel business that uh, is, is benefiting from people mm. um, shopping online and, mm. and wanting goods delivered to their homes. Um, that they are still cranking through margin improvements. Margins have not been good compared to other peers yeah. um, within Europe. Um, and that they can still ring out a steady um, small climb in operating margins. Um, and of course, the, the dividend sweetener, as we all know, is a typical Lex la angle. Dividends don't change the value of a yes. company. But they do make a, a generous dividend policy at a time of um, low interest rates generally does make a, yeah. a, a stock appealing to certain investors. Yeah. Um, and looking at the sort of valuation numbers and the what they're saying they're, they will pay out, we may be looking at yields of, say, 8%, which is juicy. That's not bad. No. Uh, this is a very political uh, decision, obviously, and, a very, and I guess there's a little bit of political risk in privatising Royal Mail, but it's a very interesting story, and we'll come back to it. Thanks, Nikki.